Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel, Smith Shake's Custom Baits, Rick Smith Shake here. Today, we're going to do another jig, one of those one of those three jigs that I pin. But before we do that, I'm going to show you something. Now, my mother-in-law was down here over the weekend, and I uh, had a couple unpainted jigs here. I have three of them actually. So I asked her if she wanted to have some fun. And, uh, and she painted a couple of jigs. I'll show you how she did. She, I think she did pretty darn good. I showed her there was three of them that weren't painted. Um, next time she comes down, I'm going to make sure I have a few more laying here so she can try it again. Um, but um, uh, I, I did the first one and showed her how to do it. And then she did the other two. Wait till you see how she did. I think she did pretty darn fantastic. Um, and she had fun. <laughs> Um, but today I'm gonna I'll show you over here what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something slightly different than what I did last week I'm still gonna tie a jig with a couple of, uh, of, uh, of skirt pads that are the same color uh, but I'm gonna do something just a little bit different but something I haven't done yet on any jig um, so we'll see how it turns out but um, I also went uh, for Father's Day I, I, uh, I got uh, my youngest gave me a gift card for Bass Pro Shops. So I went there and I bought three of these, I think they're called double down ploppers. Okay. You notice I'm only holding two? Well, I already lost the black one. <laughs> I, uh, it was kind of windy and I cast mostly across, across the wind, but kind of into just a little bit too. Well, the my uh, the bait caster I was using the wind the wind caught that I, I went just a little bit too much into the wind you know and the wind caught it and slowed it down and just like that bam the reel stopped yeah backlash so I, thankfully it didn't backlash very deep it just happened so fast but it also happened so fast and stopped and the reel stopped so so suddenly that the thirty pound braid broke. And there went the lure. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Way out into the lake. Okay. Um, and every time something like that happens, you lose a, you lose what's kind of a little bit of an expensive lure. I always think, boy, if I could make that myself, it wouldn't hurt so bad when you lost one. You know? <laughs> kind of like when I used to, uh, I used to reload all my own shotgun shells. And, uh, Opening day, opening day of dove season, I'd take six to eight boxes of shells with me. That's 150 to 200 shells. And uh, I didn't care how many times I missed because the shells didn't cost me hardly anything. And due to that practice, I actually got really good um, at, at, hitting, at hitting the doves. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, if, if I could paint my, if I had my own hard, hard plastic lures like, like this, um, and then and, and, and airbrush and stuff, I could, I could make them for or three bucks a piece that'd be a whole lot better than the 11 that these did the bass pro charges for these huh so maybe one day maybe one day i'll be painting these things too because i'll get tired of paying the exorbitant prices for for the hard plastic lures so uh let me get the camera moved or get you guys moved over here so you can see what we're, what we're gonna do and you can see what shirley did all right so this is what we're gonna be doing today this is the See, there's a, just I had just a little bit of that issue with the, with the, um, with the heat shrink taking some of the paint with it, um, but I think we have that um, mostly figured out. You'll see in the next three jigs that um, that that didn't happen with those. Okay, but um, so that's it. I'm still going to use that for me. <laughs> um, I'm going to use these two skirt pads this this lime and the green or whatever this chartreuse and lime or whatever it's called um and then i'm going to use some of this this is this is from a peacock feather it's called peacock hurl okay i'm going to put a couple strands of this on each side of the jig um just for a little bit of flash and something a little bit different in there uh I, i'm i'm I'm, con I'm always trying to figure out how I can make my stuff just a little bit different. Um, and this jig process has been, uh, has been something different for sure. So, but let me show you what, what my mother-in-law did here. Okay. Okay. This is the one that I painted. 
all right? That's to show her how to do it. And you notice, none of them, none of them have the paint missing from, from, from pulling the, the heat shrink off the eye of the hook. So I think I have that fixed, but I'm still gonna use that other one for now. <laughs> um, so this was the first one she did. And she, she got it, she got the jig head a little hot and she left it in the paint just a little bit too long. So it ended up a lot darker than the other two did. Now this is the second one that she did. And I'd have to say that that one is pretty darn close to this. And it's probably exactly, the, the two, oops, oh, sorry. The two end ones are probably exactly what we want in a red bug colored jig head. Congratulations, Shirley. You did a damn, darn fine job. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started tying this. Um, as usual, first thing we're gonna do is tie a is, is wrap our thread base. Let me snip that. That's actually a pretty long tag end, you know? <laughs> All right, here we go. Make sure you get or, or most of there we go. Got a couple spots there. Right now, I think. Now, I was thinking about putting it, putting the peacock curl on now, but instead, I'm pretty darn sure that what I'm going to do here is just this. Let's go ahead and get started. There's our first couple wraps, real easy, nice and easy. Double check my length. Probably want to pull that just a wee bit more. Come on. See, it doesn't want to slide on that. There we go. I think I got it. Okay, that's pretty close. That'll be close enough. Close to like just about how I want it, probably. Okay, let's double check my, my placement here. I want to... Straighten this just a little bit there. Let's, you know, let's massage it a little, make sure we're, that's pretty darn good. All right, so, and you know what? I was just sitting here thinking, I didn't forget anything today, but I did. <laughs> I did. Okay, what I forget? I forgot the hair ties. Let's turn it this way so it doesn't uh, unwind, unroll. So it doesn't undo the thread. See, now here we've got, see, I moved just a little bit here. Actually, I moved, quite, moved it quite a bit. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to, it's still only covering about half this old skirt here. It's still only covering about half. So, look at what I do here. There we go. Um, it's still only covering about half of the jig here. Why is that locking up on me? Oops, come on, there we go. All right, let me go ahead and put this one on. Let me measure it a little bit here, try to get it close. That should be pretty close. Let me, I'm only gonna put one, one wrap until I get So I get this situated. Let's bring that down. Massage that around just a little bit. All right. Now let's take a look here. Looks like that the looks like the different the two different pads are pretty close to being even. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Get all that stuff out of the way. All right now, tighten that just a little bit. That's looking pretty good. So let me go ahead and wrap this thread a little bit snug here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish this a couple times. Oh, 
should be good enough for now. Um, now, let me see here, where's the, okay, there's the eye. This is one side here, okay, the eye's right on the bottom. I'll trim these here once I get these put tight in. The eyes on the bottom, in case I want to do, I actually want to make it pointing straight at me here. There we go. This will give it if you've ever looked closely at a, at a peacock feather, um, you'll see that it has some flash on it. Some it's kind of shiny in places, and that's really since I don't have any flashaboo. Okay, this is a I don't have any flashaboo. Um, this is the closest thing that I have to, to add flash to the jig skirt. Here's my third one. Fourth one's getting a little snug. There we go. All right, that's pretty tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip this, trim this just a little bit. Get out of there. Well, there we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and, yeah, that should be good. Make sure the eye is, okay, so they're directly opposite me now. going to tie in the other side here we go I hope that I hope that the camera angle today and the zoom is a better than last week that's my I, uh, I paid a little bit of attention to how I was setting up that zoom today with while while trying to remember what it looked like last week make sure that it's you guys can see what I'm doing here okay without me getting in the way and without the camera being too far away. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna snip this. Come on, where are you? There we go. I'm trying to be super careful to not clip these since I, since I just tied them in, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do our whip finish. I'll go six or seven times here, that was two. Three, four, five, six. Let's do the, the seven. There we go. That's it. And this week, the thread didn't slip off my fingers at all. All right, last step here. Well, second to last step is to put the glue on. Okay. Now, Instinctively, I want to put the glue on like this, but then you guys can't see what I'm doing. So, there we go. Okay, glue's on. Go ahead and take the hair clips off. And now we can trim the skirts. And we'll see, once I take the jig out of the vise, we'll see if that peacock curl needs to be Needs to be trimmed at all. Okay. Oops. Get out of there. There we go. All right. Two more. I'm going to pull this one up. Actually, I'm going to do this. So I can see better what I'm doing. Don't be guessing. Go and take the jig out. Okay, so here's our here's our jig, and you can see the peacock. Let's let's hang it like this. Maybe oh, that's kind of hard to see because of the angle of the camera. I'll, I'll, um, 
But when it's hanging, I'll, 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 when I move the camera again, I'll, I'll, I'll give another view of this. Um, you can see that the peacock curl when it's hanging, it's, it's almost the, the same, the exact length that it needs to be, the same length as the skirt. <coughs> Oops, sorry, my bad. Um, so, so when it gets wet, I'm assuming that those pieces, that hopefully the peacock stays in there a little, uh, a little bit better. Um, but it's, I think this is going to give just enough of a difference to where bass might eat it, you know? Maybe, even if they've seen this skirt a hundred times, a hundred times today, um, there's something different about it and that can, and that can trigger a, a strike. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hang this up like this, all right? We're right here in front. Let's do like this. And hopefully you can see that the, that the, that the peacock feather stuff, the hurl, is roughly the same length as the rest of the skirt, sort of, and it should be okay. Well, this one here is kind of short right there. You, you can see that. The other ones, though, those are all right. I guess I should have picked a little bit longer one for that, but I think we'll be okay. And these two here will probably be just a little bit, hang just a little bit further down than the, than the skirt itself, but I think that's gonna be okay too. And uh, the skirt is not even. There's off, the, the, the lengths of them are offset just a little bit, just exactly like I like. Just how I like. So, there's another, there's another jig from my tackle box. I can't wait to use it. Um, and hopefully I won't throw it away like I did that double down flopper. <laughs> yeah, that thing just sailed too. When the line snapped, that thing was just gone. It, it, was, it, 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 was, it was going to parts unknown, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, and I laugh about it because, you know, it's not the first time that's happened. It probably won't be the last. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It's part of fishing. When you go fishing, you take your lures out. If you don't want to lose your lures, leave them at home. Okay? Because losing lures happens. It just does. Um, but with that said, if you liked what you saw today, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, and share. Share with everybody you know. Um, our mom's taught us to share. Uh, I know I've harped on that. Got up in my soapbox. Um, but I'm not going to harp on it anymore, I don't think. That's, I'm just going to say share. Um, and uh, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a PayPal link down below. Um, any of that money, any money that comes in through that, uh, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be using for, for supplies um, to, for the channel, for, do, for doing different things. Um, there's uh, a couple things that happened recently that, uh, that, have, that have slowed up the timetable on getting some new stuff. I want to do some neat crappie jigs with, with some really flashy uh, uh, chenille type stuff. Um, do some, uh, I want to experiment. Well, I shouldn't say experiment. I'm gonna, I'll have to, well, yeah, there will be a lot of experiment on this channel. <laughs> um, I want to, I want to watch a couple videos on how to, how to use a dubbing, which is a, a loose kind of fur. Um, and, and practice that just a little bit at least before I, before I, uh, make a video with it. But, um, back when I was tying some flies, dubbing was one of the things that I had a real hard time with. I, um, we didn't have YouTube yet. Um, I couldn't seem to get that figured out very much. And so I just stuck to tying stuff that didn't require dubbing. Um, but um, the dubbing is, uh, it's a way to make a fuzzy little jig, you know, because the hairs all stick out. Um, I've heard of guys who sit there and they try to trim off all the loose hairs. Well, that, to me, that kind of, uh, kind of defeats the purpose of using dubbing. Um, but I guess on the other hand, if you, um, if you want to make um, make your jig look like it has a little bit more bulk, that extra um, the extra hair is sticking out every which way will help with that. And if you want to reduce that bulk, it wouldn't be a lot, but you could if you want to reduce that bulk, you could trim it off. Um, so I guess there is that. Um, but um, and that might be something you do just out on the water or out at the lake, river, whatever, wherever you're fishing. You just it's a field modification let's call it that okay <laughs> um, but uh, um, hopefully it won't be too much longer and we'll be able to move into more stuff like that um, I'm trying to figure different ways to make um, jigs my jigs just a little bit different um, as, as opposed to like this well unless I'm going to take unless I'm making something specifically for me to go fishing like this I wanted this exact thing here um, for the fishing. I wanted the, the chartreuse head on it and then the baby bass colors. Okay. 
Um, but um, but I can mix. I can do more mixing and matching. That's something I'm. That's something I'm looking at. Um, I, I pull down the box of, of skirt pads and start rifling through it and uh, looking for, looking for ideas. Um, but uh, ideas they flow. You know, um, they flow on some days. Some days they don't. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> pardon me. Um, but I think that's it for today. I think I've rambled enough. Uh, so uh, until next time, folks, tight lines, calm waters, and God bless.